Hello everyone. This video has been brought to you by An Academy. My name is Mohit Gupta and in this video I will be talking about NFA to DFA conversions. So let us begin with an example. This is the NFA that we drew in the previous video. So if you have not watched the previous video, please watch it before watching this one. So this is the regular expression that we have drawn the NFA for and before we see how to convert this NFA into a DFA we will see what all important terminologies that we need there is only one important terminology that is the F silent closure of S what does it mean the set of NFA states reachable from NFA state S on F silent transitions alone F silent is an empty string And as we had seen in the NFA video, we can have F silent transitions in the NFA. As you can see here, we are reaching state 0 to state 2 on F silent transitions alone. So that is what an F silent transition is. And the F silent closure is all the set, set of states that are reachable from a particular state S on F silent transition as alone. So let us see what the epsilon, cl epsilon closure of 0 is. State 0 is right here and let us mark the states that we can reach from 0 on epsilon transitions alone. We can reach 1, 2, 4 and 7 on epsilon transitions alone. So the silent closure of 0 will contain 0, 1, 2, 4 and 7. A silent closure of a state always contains the state itself because you can infinitely loop it to a silent and you can reach it by silent moves. That's why it will always contain this state itself. So let us name this state something because whenever we get an epsilon closure of a state the set of states we name it a new state because this new state will be a state in the required DFA so set A of this of DFA contains 0 1 2 4 in seven states of the NFA. Now we see that the possible inputs are A or B. So as in a DFA we will now input these this state A now gets two inputs A and B and state A contains 0 1, 2, 4 and 7. We will input both the inputs to the state A and form new states. So let us do that. This is state A and we input A to it. And I will list the elements once more for the reference. So let us see what all states in A change their state on input A? So we have 4 that takes input B to change its state. We have 2 that takes A to change its state and reach 3. So we have this state 3 will be there. State 6 will be there because we can get epsilon transitions state 1 will be there state 4 will be there state 2 will be there 6 1 4 2 also state 7 will be there and 7 can transition to 8 on input A so 8 will be there 
so this will be a new state let us call this state as B on B input to set A we see that 5 will be there 6 will be there 7 will be there 1 2 and 4 will be there so 1 2 4 5 6 and 7 these states will form a new state for our required DFA that will be state C now as we had done earlier we will input A and B to these new states so we have this state B and we will input A and B to it let me once again list the elements of B they are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8 so we input 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 symbol A to these set of states we see that 2 can reach 3 7 can reach 8 and 6 1 2 and 4 can be reached so 1 2 3 4 6 7 and 8 these will be the reachable states on input A as you can examine this is the same as set B so B transitions on to itself on input A now let us see what B reaches when input, input symbol is B so B can reach 5 6 7 9 8 and 1 2 and 4 so we have 1 2 4 5 6 7 and 9 this will be the a new state called as D so we have got two new states and now we will repeat the process of inputting A and B to them we had got state C also and we will input A and B to it the elements of C were 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 so let us see what all states can be reached on inputting A to C we can reach 3, 6, 1, 2, 4, 7 and 8 so 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 7, 8 and we see from the previous slide that this is same as the set B so C transitions to B on a inputs let us see what C transitions to on B inputs we see that 5 6 1 2 4 7 this is the possible number of states that we C can reach on B transitions that is 1 2 4 5 6 and 7 and we see that this is same as state C so C transitions to itself on in 
B inputs. So now we have completed A and B inputs on A, B and C. Now we will see what transitions are there on D. We have this state D and now we will input A and B to it to get the set of states. D's elements were 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. So we now input A to the set of states and see what all outputs we can get. On A input we have 2, 3, 6, 1, 4, 7 and 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8. And we see that this is the same as state B. Now we see that A, B, C and D all reach B on A transitions. That is our observation. Now we see what states in D reach on B transitions. We have 4, 5, 6, 1, 2 and we can reach we can reach 7 and since we have 9 also we can reach 10 so we have here 1 2 4 5 6 7 and 10 and since this is a new state we will name it state E so now we are done with states A, B, C and D and we will deal with E now. Elements in E are 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 10. So on A transitions what all states can be reached we see we can reach 3, 6, 1, 2, 4, 7, 8. So we have 1, 2, 4, 3, 6, 7 and 8. We see that this state is the same as state B. So we now see what B transitions can lead to. So we, we have 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2 so this, these are the states 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 7 and this is the same as state C so now we have all the states and the set of states of the NFA that they contain we have got 5 DFA states out of these 10 NFA states we will now list them all once so we have set NFA DFA set A that contains 0, 1, 2, 
4 and 7 we have B that contains 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7 and 8 we have C that contains 1, 2, 4, 5, 6 and 7 we have D that contains 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9 we have E that contains 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 10 and on input A and B A transitions to B and C B to B and D C transitions to B and C D transitions to B and E E transitions to B and C so these are the states and transitions that we have got so now we will look at how we draw the DFA from these this data so let us draw as usual we have a start state that reaches state A A on A transitions reaches B B on A transitions reaches itself A on B transitions reaches C B on B transitions reaches D C on A transitions reaches B C on B transitions reaches itself D on B transitions reaches E D on A transitions reaches B E on A transitions reaches B and E on B transitions reaches C So this is the required DFA and the state E will be the accepting state. Why? Because state C contains the accepting state 10 of the NFA. The NFA had state 10 as the accepting state and that is in state E so E will be the accepting state of the DFA also so this is the required DFA for the regular expression from which we formed the NFA and then we converted the NFA to DFA so that's all for this video please subscribe to the channel an academy on YouTube to watch all the latest videos more videos in the same series are these three that are very essential to understand this last video of the series so please watch them and if you have any doubts and queries, you can ask me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is hi underscore Mohit Gupta or you can also tweet to The An Academy. If you want us to teach any specific topics, then you can leave a comment in the comment section of this video. Thank you. Keep watching.